Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series, we're taking a look at the new MacBook Air. This episode specifically, we're taking a look at installing things onto the new MacBook Air. Now, the one thing you'll notice looking at the device itself is there's no CD drive on this thing, so you won't be able to install things on it using CDs the way you used to be able to on your old notebook that had the CD or DVD drive built right into the device. So there's a few other ways that you can actually get software onto these things. Now the first way is, of course, you can download it. So there's a ton of downloads out there. We've got some at uh, twocows.com. There's other sites that have this. And in fact, Apple is coming out with their own solution very soon called the App Store, which will allow you to use it just the way you would with the App Store on your iPhone or your iPad. Go to it, download it from the site, and install it automatically. Of course, you also have the option to use a USB key, so you can download something on another machine and then bring it over here and install it that way. Again, you have uh, internet on board here, you have uh, the Wi-Fi, so you don't necessarily need to do that, but it is another option if you need one. Of course, Apple offers an external optical drive solution for use with the MacBook Air. It uses one of the USB ports on the side of the MacBook Air for connectivity. Of course, you can get one of the external DVD solutions from one of the other companies that makes them. They are out there. Often they do require an external power source as well in addition to the USB connector, so it's not quite as mobile as a device that only has a single USB connector for both power and uh, data. Now if you don't have an external DVD drive available to you, but you do have another computer on your local network, especially a Mac, you can use something called Remote Disk. Now with Remote Disk, you can take a disk that you have that you want to install onto the MacBook Air and insert it into the drive of another machine on your network. So in this case, we're putting it into the MacBook Pro, but you can use this on another iMac, you can use it on a MacBook Tower, or you can use it even on Windows machines. Now to start the install process, you go into the finder on your MacBook Air, and you'll notice at the top under Devices, you have Remote Disk. So you'll click on that, and up will come a list of machines in your neighborhood that actually have shared devices. So in this case, we're going to use my MBP, or my MacBook Pro. So we have an option here called Ask to Use. Now you can't just use any drive that's available. You have to actually ask first. So we're going to click Ask to Use, and you'll notice it's going to ask, send a dialogue over to the other one, and you'll see on the other one it says Apple Canada on Apple Canada's MacBook Air would like to use your DVD drive on this other machine here. So in this case, we're going to click Accept, like so, and that'll actually bring it up on the MacBook Air again. So we have the Office installer here. And then we can, it'll fire up the drive on the other machine, and because this is going over the network, it is a bit slower than if you're using the drive itself right on your machine, but it is still pretty fast if you have a modern network, especially 11N. So we're going to click on Office Installer and double click it to launch it. And there we go, we have the Office Installer here running from one machine onto the other. We can click Continue to start the installation process. Okay, so that's a look at installing software on the MacBook Air. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we show you how to use other facets of the MacBook Air. And don't forget to check out the show notes on this and the other parts of the series at butterscotch.com.